Hi guys, welcome to my channel AM Entertainment with my travel experiences and advices. Driving in Portugal is not that complicated, but there are places I would advise not to drive. In Lisbon most of the road signs are in their language Portuguese and you won't understand it unless you know Portuguese. And most of the roads are one way and narrow in Lisbon. Parking is very limited and mostly for residents only near main tourist attractions. Therefore my advice is park your rented car in safe parking and walk around or take buses, trams and tuk-tuk taxi to see the attractions. I have parked my rented car in underground parking called Parking Campo das Cebolas. This is safe and closer to mainly attraction Arco da Rua Augusta in Lisbon. Ok let's move on to my experience. I've been to Algarve, southern sunny hot part of Portugal in February 2024. It's like 20 to 23 degrees Celsius temperature. Not a bad weather to go out and see the beautiful beaches, cliffs and caves in Algarve. You can cover most of the places in five days. You may need more days if you want to spend more time in every beaches. In Portugal like other European Union countries your driving seat is on left-hand side of the car unlike in UK. And you drive on right side of the roads and motorways. In roundabouts, you have to watch your left and they get the priority and when you join main roads or motorways you have to watch left side and wait for it to become free. It's not that crowded in Algarve so you can easily drive around and parking also mostly free. If you used to drive from right side of the car in UK then you might be more conscious for the first day and from next day onwards it'll become easy for you. I'm telling these in my personal experience. So this could be different for others based on their experience and driving abilities. Next very confusing thing is driving in motorways. You have to pay to drive on motorways. The idea behind toll roads is that you pay to use a section of a motorway, with the money raised going to the local government to help pay for its upkeep. Portugal's toll roads are a little more confusing than most due to the fact they're largely electronic. There are numerous toll roads crisscrossing the country. The price of Portugal's toll roads differ depending on the type of vehicle you're driving and how far you're going. Generally, the longer you drive on a toll road for, the more expensive it will be. For me to drive from Algarve to Lisbon using the A2 toll road cost me around £16 in tolls. Luckily, for every toll road in Portugal, there's usually another route you can use that'll be completely free of charge. Be warned though, the toll-free roads are not as well-maintained and are usually longer routes. If you've got the time, then, they can be great options and perfect for viewing more of Portugal's stunning rural scenery. If you live in Portugal, then the vehicle number plate is linked to your bank card, accepted on the MasterCard, Visa, or Maestro networks. Whenever the vehicle passes a toll reader, the toll fees are later directly debited from the account linked to the bank card. Alternatively you can pay tolls by going in person to a CTT post office, a post office with NAVE or a pay shop agent. You can also pay by Multibanco reference, through the CTT website or app. Don't forget that you can only pay tolls 48 hours after you have passed through the electronic toll and up to a maximum of 5 working days. If you are a visitor using motorways in Portugal in your personal car registered in UK of other countries, no worries, you still have a few options when it comes to toll payments. One of the easiest is to buy a toll card from a local post office, tourism office, service station or an easy toll welcome point. You'll add prepaid credit to it and then activate it over text message. If you are a visitor and using motorways on a rented car the best and easy option is to rent a gadget called Via Verde Transponder from the car rental company. It's probably €2 Euro per rental day. This will automatically detect every toll motorway in Portugal and charge from your registered credit card automatically. Hope the information I've provided about driving in Portugal is useful and clear your doubts for driving road trips in Portugal. So don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel to support us. Thank you.